we've been active in Taiwan for the last few years. Uh, Taiwan, as I think all of you know, is a, is a very important friend and partner of the United States. And at Spirit of America, you've heard a lot about our work in Ukraine. And in that work in Ukraine, we've seen firsthand what happens when a larger, more powerful country tries to impose its will on a smaller country. Uh, and our goal with respect to Taiwan is to help protect Taiwan's democracy and prevent conflict and to support our friends and partners in Taiwan. To date, uh, as you can see on the map, you know, Spirit of America and its partners have conducted over 21 projects and 250 training events uh, across the entire island. We've had the pleasure of working with the diverse range of partners in civil society to include groups like Ford Alliance, Watch Out, uh, TDA, DMT, and Kuma Academy. Obviously, our flagship partnership for the last two years has been with Ford Alliance. Over the, la over the last two years, they've trained over 9,900 civilians and first responders in over 200 training events across the country. You know, what started as a, a small collaboration between SOA and, and Ford Alliance, uh, where we were training basic crisis medical skills, has turned into a, you know, a, a national program where we're training and organizing civilians to not only take care of their communities, but to support and integrate with first uh, frontline first responders. I, I founded Four Alliance in 2020, so that's uh, nearly nearly four years ago now. And we started out with a very simple concept, a uh, simple idea, uh, and it's, it remains our mission today, which is to bring people together, right? We wanna strengthen communities. We wanna build solidarity. And uh, going back to what I mentioned earlier, it, it's the people that count. And people here want to have a way to help. Right? We understand that every society has its challenges. We understand that every democracy uh, has its up and downs, right? But the people have got to be part of the solution. And so this is where a civil society plays uh, the, the, an essential role, right? No one else can do it for us. Government can't do it for you. International allies, friends and partners can't do it for you. You know, everyday folks have to get up in the morning, make that decision that my action today counts, right? I can make a difference. I can help. Uh, and, and and that's that's why we found the Forward Alliance. It's it's giving people a way to serve, a way to participate in their community, in their country. Uh, and so we do uh, community service uh, throughout the year. But in addition to that, uh, we have this program that we call the Forward Forward Volunteer Corps uh, that that JB introduced uh, just now, which is to provide crisis response training for the folks who are already helping their communities, who are already community leaders. Right, give them the training so that, you know, in the worst of days, you know, when disaster strikes, you know, everyone is prepared to help themselves, help their communities, continuing to lead those around them. We train the general public, but we, have, we, we place an immense focus on training existing organiz organizations, existing leaders, pillar, pillars of their communities. We've trained close to 10,000 uh, civilians. Uh, in fact, on Saturday, this Saturday, we will uh, have trained 10,000 folks. Um, uh, this Saturday is, uh, is an interesting day where we're doing simultaneous training in Taipei and Pingdong, which are, uh, for folks who are aware of Taiwan's uh, geography, uh, the northernmost and southernmost uh, cities uh, in Taiwan. So we're doing simultaneous trainings all over, all over the country. Um, but the trainings are conducted uh, by first responders. Our trainers, are, our trainers come from uh, fire brigades, they're paramedics, uh, some from military and police. A lot of folks uh, from uh, the EMR, ER, ER room in hospitals. So these are folks who are doing crisis response on a daily basis, training civilians in the same language, in the same methodology, uh, uh, in the same processes, uh, and so that uh, in case of a crisis, they can work together. You know, a good example of our work with civil society has been a recent, uh, the, the recent publication of Watch Out. And they recently published the, the second version of their citizen-led civil defense guide. And it's a really interesting project in that it's, a, it's, it's a, 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 a civil defense guide focused at the average day, everyday citizen, both uh, available online and in hard copy form. And the guide is really there to provide you know, a, a basic set of skills and, and, and informative uh, you know, to educate normal, uh, everyday civilians on what they could do in a conflict. You know, today, both the versions of the guide and the content have been viewed over 2 million times across Taiwan.